But we are replacing it with a brand new card. We have a new arena, new tower skin, emotes, balance changes, and more. With season 10 starting soon, let's get right into it. Welcome back to TV Royale. With everybody social distancing, we're using the power of green screen to make a flawless TV Royale production for you guys. How's it going, Seth? That's right, Drew. Before season 10 begins, we are going to do something we have never done before. We are removing heal spell from the game. Now, this is some really big news, but don't worry, we will be replacing it with a brand new card. Heal Spirit. Heal Spirit is our first spirit since 2016. Like Ice Spirit, same health, same damage, runs, jumps, the whole deal. The difference, Heal Spirit will leave behind a big healing area effect. The healing that Heal Spirit does is way more powerful than the old heal spell. Yeah. This is because it happens really quickly and in a really short burst. But the catch is, Heal Spirit has to jump on an enemy before it deploys its healing effect. As you might know, we've been talking about replacing heal for a long time. But no matter what we did to the heal spell, it just didn't quite feel right. We wanted something that was a bit more interactive, that required a skill on both sides. Skill for you to deploy your heal spirit just right, and skill for your opponent to try to block or redirect the heal spirit. So we hope that this creates a more powerful effect in the game, so that more than 0% of you use it, but also it'll create a lot more interesting gameplay and reactions in the middle of battle. We went through a couple of different phases and concepts of uh, what Heal Spirit was going to be. Here you can see some of them. I really loved the little like battle healer, princey kind of Heal Spirit uh, with this little cute hair. But we settled for something that was a bit more Clash Royale in the end. So when Heal Spirit is released, what's going to happen? You're not losing any cards. You're not losing any gold. You're not losing any upgrades. Anything you had for Heal will automatically become Heal Spirit as soon as it comes into the arena. Heal Spirit is going to be released before Season 10 on Thursday, the 2nd of April. We really like this idea of changing spells into spirits, so maybe in the future, who knows, we'll get some more spirits. Check out your favorite content creator to get tips and tricks on how to use the Heal Spirit. This is the first time we've done anything like this, and we're really excited to see what you all do with the new Heal Spirit troop. Season 10 is nearly upon us, and we are joining the Forest Gang on a heist. You son of a witch. I'm in. In Season 10, we delve deep into the Forest Gang's territory and play in the new arena, which is their Forest Gang hideout. And that's where you will be battling in Season 10. And of course, Pass Royale rewards, new emotes, and an awesome tower skin. We also have not one, but two gold, gold rushes. rushes. This season has more gold than we've ever given out in any season before. Tons of gold in the special challenges. And what would the heist season be without a game mode to match? If you remember the heist game mode that we released for the Brawl Stars global launch, we are bringing that back for the heist season, playable in party mode. We also have some season 10 balance changes coming for you guys. Take it away, Seth. Heal Spirit being the biggest one, but on top of that, Magic Archer is getting a nerf to his targeting range. His arrow will still go the full distance, but he's gonna have to be a little closer to aiming. Skeleton Barrel is getting a speed upgrade, going fast instead of medium, but losing some hit points in return. Goblin Hut is going to have a shorter lifetime, but spawn three Spear Goblins when it's destroyed. The total number of Spear Goblins will stay the same, but we think this is going to make it a much more useful building in your decks. So that's it for this TV.